If you like popsicles and you like things that come in the shape of a popsicle, then you'll definitely like popsicles. You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck. The first popsicle we're gonna make is the pineapple cocoa honey nutsicle. We're gonna take a coconut and we'll just grab that can of coconut milk and get that into the blender. You might be wondering why there's this separation between the thick coconut cream and the coconut water. That's just because when the coconut's growing, all of the less dense coconut water rises to the top while all of the dense coconut growth hormone falls to the bottom. Then we'll take a pineapple and we'll roll that out of the way so we can grab our can of pineapple chunks and get all those chunks in there. Then we'll add around three tablespoons of honey and a pinch of salt and a handful of shredded coconut. Blend that until it's smooth. Then pour that into a measuring cup so you can carefully pour that into your popsicle filling funnel. And then fill up as many as you can. Now we'll make jamboree bloopsicles, which are great both as a percussive instrument as well as an edible drumstick. We'll take another can of coconut milk, add in a cup of blueberries, and then we're gonna sweeten it. Can you guess how? Sugar! Nope, good guess though. Molasses! No, that would taste really gross. Any a sweeter popsicle! <laughs> no, I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with flasberry ham. Raspberry clam! <laughs> no, it's raspberry jam, you dumb f so we'll just carefully scrape off three tablespoons of jam, add in a pinch of salt, a squeeze of lemon. Whoops, blenders typically work better with the blade inside them. Blend it all up and fill your mold. Our third popsicle is the Choco Maple Fudgesicle Cocoa Popsicle Pop. We're gonna take another can of coconut milk. We'll add in six tablespoons of cocoa powder, four tablespoons of maple syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which really helps bring the flavor home, and a pinch of salt, which also really brings the flavor home as it does with any food that contains flavor. But if you don't have a blender, you can shake this one in a mason jar with a tiny whisk. This will be easy for you if you own a shake weight like I do, because you'll have that motion down pat. You can also attach the mason jar to your shake weight and then just get your workout in while you're making your popsicle. You want to keep that going until you've burnt the same amount of calories that are in the popsicle so that your popsicle is calorie neutral. Let's try a different angle here. Only you can decide when you're done shaking the shake weight. That's a personal decision. Okay, I think we're pretty good there. I wouldn't recommend using a 25 pounder for this. I mean, I can, but I didn't come here to talk about training. I came here to make popsicles. No funnel, the adrenaline from the workout makes me take more risks. Now we'll just pop those in the freezer for a few hours. Now if making a popsicle with a classic stick and mold makes you feel like a sheep, don't worry, there's lots of alternatives. We've got the gripsicle. This is for clumsy people who need a better grip or if you need a popsicle in a windstorm. We've got the handsicle because holding a hand is the most natural thing in the world. Also for people who need to work on their intimacy issues. We've got the Christicle, also the crisis call. This is the stick chopsticle if you want to have dessert and food at the same time. The toothbrush stickle, keep that sugar off your teeth. This is the community popsicle. This is great if you go to a music festival by yourself and you want to quickly make five friends. We have the off the chainsicle, which is great if you're in a motorcycle gang. You can make the tough guy popsicle, which is great if you're a tough guy and don't want to be caught dead holding a dainty popsicle stick. It's also useful for fighting off a dude who tries to make fun of you for eating a popsicle. Now it's finally time to take a bite of your popsicle. Mmm. I mean, in the end, you can't argue with popsicles. I mean, they don't have a mouth, they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to think. You end up just looking like a fool, standing there, yelling at a tasty treat that you could be eating instead while it melts all over your hand, you know? Oh, popsicle, you can't stop so cool. Eating up and licking all the drips and all the dropsicles. Get into the pool and do a belly flopsicle because you know it's always time to stop dropping popsicles. Can't topsicle, how much you want so cool. Looks like I forgot so cool when I was out to shopsicle. No matter the weather, it always tastes so much better when I'm just whipping up a batch of tasty mother flopping popsicles. I can eat popsicles sitting by the brook. I can eat popsicles when I'm reading a book. Oh yeah, I wrote a book. It's out October 15th, but you can pre-order it now wherever books are sold. Or you can just check out the link below if you want. Oh my god, I wrote a flippin' book. Oh my god, I hope you wanna take a look.